Hello everybody, my name is Ellen Barnum and I am the Instrumental Coordinator at Buffalo State College and I also have the privilege of working very closely with all of our first year students. So I know a lot about what it's like to transition from high school to college and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our setup. So when you come to Buffalo State, you get to take a whole bunch of really fantastic music courses, but one of my personal favorites is our introduction to music studies and careers. And this is where we learn about how to be, um, like techniques, fundamentals of pedagogical techniques, but we also learn about the foundation of being a musician. What are some of the tools and things that we need to know in order to be a successful musician here at Buffalo State College and also beyond. But what I really want to talk to you about today are some of the opportunities that you have as an instrumentalist here at Buffalo State College. So if you are a pianist, a guitarist, if you play a wind, a brass, or a percussion instrument, if you play a string instrument, we have a really wonderful set of ensembles that you can participate in. So we have our wind ensemble, we have our jazz ensemble, and we also have the Buffalo State College Philharmonia. All of those are your primary ensembles that you will either have to uh, perform in, or if you're a guitarist or a pianist, you would have to sing in the chorale. But we also have a wonderful program of smaller chamber ensembles. Now I know that Dr. Uh, Phil Singer is going to talk to you a little bit about some of the jazz chamber groups, and I know that Dr. Fleming will talk to you about the brass chamber groups. But if you don't fit into one of those categories, what else can you do here at Buffalo State? Well, what you can do is join an instrumental chamber group. We have guitar ensemble, we have saxophone ensemble, we have uh, woodwind groups, and all of these can also be intermixed. If you're a pianist, you can certainly play in a piano and violin and cello string trio if we have those instruments available. So you have a number of opportunities and a number of ways to grow and develop your musicianship here at Buffalo State College, and we cannot wait to work with you. Hello, and welcome to Buffalo State. My name is Dr. Carrie Renzoni, and I am the coordinator of undergraduate music education here in our music department. We are so happy that you're joining us today and getting a little bit of a taste and a glimpse of a life as a music major here at Buffalo State. At Buffalo State, I am the coordinator of undergraduate music education. And in that role, I get to work directly with most music majors during your time at Buffalo State. I get to teach a variety of courses, uh, many of which actually that take place right in this room. We're in room 107, and in this room, we have many courses uh, that take place here. We have, um, we have theory courses, we have music history courses, we even have an African drumming ensemble, and you'll notice that there are many different uh, drums available in this room. And then we have some music education courses. So the first course you would take here at Buffalo State would be a course called Introduction to Music Studies and Careers. And I'm fortunate enough to teach that course, so I would be working with you during that course. And in that course, which takes place in this room in 107, you learn a variety of strategies in being successful academically and also, also musically um, here at Buffalo State. And you also get to, get to investigate some possible careers in music as well, such as music production, such as performance, and such as music education. I teach a number of other courses in this room, uh, such as elementary music methods, and this semester I'm even teaching a really neat elective course called Early Childhood Music and Movement Methods courses as well. So I get to teach a variety of different courses that deal with young children, and those are for music education majors, but also for BA majors as well. Uh, let's see, what else do I do here at Buffalo State? I also run a partnership with Torino Maggiore Italy, um, and that is a small town in the south of Italy. And what I get to do is every other year, I get to bring music majors to Italy, and we get to teach English and music to uh, children in Torino Maggiore in that small town. So I get to do a lot of really neat things in my role here at Buffalo State. So in this room, we do a lot of singing, we do some moving, we do some dancing even during our courses, um, but there's a lot of learning happening in these courses and we can't wait to have you join us during Music Day today and hopefully in the future as a music major here at Buffalo State to learn more about what it means to be a music major. Good morning. 
My name is Dr. Rick Fleming. I'm a professor of music and director of band here at SUNY Buffalo State. And you are with me in the rehearsal room. This is the room that band and orchestra rehearses in. I conduct the wind ensemble here at Buffalo State and the jazz ensemble. And also I teach instrumental conducting and brass technique. Currently I'm standing in our newly renovated uh, rehearsal room. Uh, it was renovated, I think, in the summer of 2018. And what you see here are, are acoustic paneling that was put up all around the room. Um, the lighting in the room also was uh, improved. Uh, we are waiting patiently for new um, electric, in, uh, electric uh, equipment that will allow us to record and do recording and uh, other functions here uh, in the room. The Buen Ensemble is comprised of, of about 50 students. It can go up to 60. Um, that's both major and non-major students. We often have dual majors, vocal majors, and instrumental, instrumental majors playing in the Buen Ensemble. Uh, we play this music from the standard canon of wind band music as well as contemporary music. Uh, I also conduct uh, the Jazz Ensemble. And the Jazz Ensemble is basically a 20-piece band, a uh, big band. Um, we play most of the traditional styles of big band music uh, from the library of Count Basie, from the library of Duke Ellington. Um, most of the contemporary music of, of, of big band we also play. There are small ensembles that you available that are available for you to play. We have uh, brass quintets, trumpet ensemble, trombone ensemble, uh, and brass trios that I also coach. We would love to have you to be a part of Buffalo State, um, certainly as a music major, but if you come to Buffalo State and you are a major in something else, we do allow you to play in the ensembles here uh, at Buffalo State. So uh, if you come from a high school band program that is, that is, and you want to continue playing, we would love to have you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Tomás Henrique. Um, I'm a professor of music theory and music composition here at Buffalo State. And I'm also the coordinator of the program in digital music production. So I teach classes in electronic music composition, history of electronic music, interactive comp uh, uh, computing music, um, audio synthesis, and so on and so forth. Um, I do quite a bit of research on electronic music um, related subjects um, with a focus on creating new electronic instruments and also creating new interfaces for um, human computer interaction. Um, I'm here at um, Simonelli Hall to um, speak to you a little bit about um, how um, relevant this hall is for the music department and how cutting edge this uh, facility is. Basically, it's a, a system, hardware based, that allows the reverberation of the room to be changed and um, with the goal of enhancing uh, music performance. So we can make the room sound as if we were in the cathedral or if we were in a much smaller room. And we can tailor also the acoustics of the room according to the type of ensemble that is performing. Not only we have this incredibly uh, relevant system, this Yamaha AFC system, but the system was modified so that the, the speakers that we have that are part of that um, AFC system were uh, modified so that they can work together. Um, they have been networked together with the Dante Digital Audio uh, Network, which allows faculty and students to place audio in any of the 53 speakers that we have in the room. That opens up an incredible um, amount of creative possibilities for uh, composition of multi-channel sound. So if you are a student who wants to to do audio for VR or for AR, or if you are interested in multi-channel audio for film, you'll find that this space will be a very important tool and resource for you to, to explore. The room also um, is equipped with a state-of-the-art um, 
facility that allows peer-to-peer -peer collaboration via high-speed internet too. So students can um, receive master classes in real time or perform in real time and have those performances to be transmitted to any location in the world that could um, participate with us in that type of um, hardware protocol. So um, I'm very excited about um, uh, continuing to explore what we have here at Simonelli Hall and uh, this semester students actually will be uh, having classes uh, <clears throat> with the COVID allowing, of course, uh, they will be exploring uh, the, the surround system and composing pieces that call for the specialization of multi-channel sound. The LaRusso recording studio where we are at right now is a lab that is used for professional recording, uh, mixing and post-production work. Um, the studio is centered around the brand new uh, Mac Tower computer with several digital audio workstation software packages. Most of the production work uh, is done with Pro Tools Ultimate, um, with uh, numerous plug-in packages for audio processing, mixing and mastering. Um, the studio does include a, an Avid C24 control surface, uh, an Avium personal monitoring system for improved on-stage mixes and for speeding up sound checks. We do have uh, three large screen displays for visual feedback of concert recordings at remote locations. Um, and this is because this recording studio allows students and faculty to remotely record concerts and events taking place at different locations within the, <clears throat> the Rocco building. Um, the lab is used for classroom um, activities and can take up to 12 students at a time. Um, classes in digital uh, music production um, happen here uh, frequently, uh, namely the classes that have to do with the audio production track of our program in digital music production. In terms of monitoring, you can see that we have a 5.1 surround sound system playback with um, JBL speakers and we are now also um, working with our students in uh, binaural recording. Um, we have and continue to uh, improve uh, the way that our spaces connect with one another and um, are uh, presently working on how to better integrate the 52.1 surround sound system that is installed in Simonelli. Good morning students and welcome to Music Day at Buffalo State. Uh, we thank you very much for your interest in the department. My name is Dr. Mark Filsinger and I'm an associate professor here um, in music education and I also teach trumpet lessons and I teach a small jazz ensemble. Um, a little bit about the small jazz ensemble first. Everybody probably knows what trumpet lessons are, but in the small jazz ensemble, that's, a, that's kind of what you might consider a jazz combo that supplements what Dr. Fleming does in the big band. Um, we work on learning standard repertoire. We work on improvisation skills, some jazz theory. skills could register for that that jazz combo with me every semester just like any other other chamber group um, so I also mentioned that I, I teach in the music education program I'm the coordinator of graduate music education uh, which is something that you're probably not thinking about yet but um, as part of the undergraduate I teach the last course that you take before your student teaching all in, um, all music education majors take instrumental music secondary instrumental music with me 
um, in that final semester. And it's sort of a culmination of all the skills that you learn throughout the degree. We, we incorporate singing, we incorporate piano playing, we incorporate um, all your instrumental techniques courses. So the string tech you would take before my class, you would take percussion techniques, you would take woodwind techniques, you would take brass techniques, um, and vocal pad. And um, like I said, all of those are, are sort of combined into this course, um, along with your instrumental conducting class that you take with my colleague, Dr. Fleming. Um, and we work on all those things, and, and we basically put that together into um, you know, someone who might be interested in being a secondary uh, band director or orchestra director in the area. Um, we, again, thank you very much for your interest in our department, and uh, we hope to see you on campus sometime soon. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Emily Boyce, piano faculty member here at Buffalo State. Uh, among uh, many things, I teach the group piano classes. I'm standing here in our brand new group piano lab that we just had installed a few months ago. Uh, these classes uh, are taken in conjunction with your other basic musicianship classes, uh, ear training and theory, and everything works together to help you build a really comprehensive set of basic musicianship skills. Uh, it's a four semester sequence. You typically start uh, during your first semester and you finish uh, as you're beginning to move into upper division classes. Aside from the piano lab, uh, I also manage all of our accompanying assignments. Some of you may not be aware that Buffalo State offers free, uh, a free professional accompanist or coach to every vocalist or instrumentalist that needs one. And you get this half hour meeting per week with your coach uh, in addition to uh, your one hour weekly applied lessons. This is a great advantage that pays off when it comes time to perform uh, and of course for your end of semester juries. Um, also if your primary instrument is piano I teach applied piano lessons and there are a lot of advantages to being at Buffalo State uh, because we are a little bit smaller we're able to offer a lot of opportunities uh, for every piano student whether you're interested in uh, working with other musicians or accompanying a choir playing in a large ensemble, uh, large or small jazz ensembles, of course, as well, um, and a lot of on-campus performance opportunities. So hope to see you at Buff State, hope to meet you at an audition. Thank you very much. Hello, welcome to Buffalo State Music Department virtual tour. My name is Dr. Holly Pule an associate professor in music. I teach voice lessons, vocal pedagogy class, and I coordinate the entire vocal program. I would like to share with you a little bit about our voice program. We serve students in bachelors in music education, bachelors in arts, and masters in music education. All music majors who select voice as their primary instrument get to take one hour weekly individual voice lessons with a highly qualified voice professor. Our program includes opera productions, vocal chamber ensemble, two choirs, and vocal jazz. We host vocal jazz festival annually and we invite a renowned vocal jazz specialist every year. We also promote student initiatives and leadership in our opera productions and vocal chamber ensemble. We promote applied learning, service learning, and actively seek ways to express social justice through music. It is a warm, welcoming, individualized program. We're very excited to see you and hear your beautiful voices at the auditions. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> My name is John Fleischman, and I am the uh, 
choral director, as well as a voice teacher here at Buffalo State College. This is our choir room where we have our, our weekly rehearsals, as well as it's also where I teach voice. Um, my colleague, Dr. Vicki Furby, uh, is also one of the choral directors. Um, she conducts our chamber choir, which is our smaller ensemble. Usually it has 20 to 24 singers. Um, I conduct the college choir chorale, which is the larger ensemble. Uh, most semesters we have between 45 and 55 singers. Um, uh, and they rehearse, uh, the chorale rehearses Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour and 15 minutes. And our chamber choir rehearses on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for 50 minutes. <clears throat> um, the, uh, this year, things are a little bit different. Uh, instead of having our uh, large chorale ensemble, uh, we had to, because as many of you know, uh, singers have to be 12 feet apart as well as masked. So for that, last semester, uh, both Dr. Furby and I um, divided the students up into octets, and they met once a week for 45 minutes. Um, I had four octets and Dr. Furby had three. This next semester, this coming semester, we are going to each have uh, groups of 12 singers so that there'll be four or, uh, on a part for SATB and three on a part for SSA. Um, so the, uh, the um, rehearsals are a little bit different is, and so therefore, um, the, uh, the concerts um, are going to be live streamed. Our fall concert was live streamed and it was quite successful and we were very pleased that we were able to do a performance. This semester we have two uh, concerts scheduled, one in March and again another one in May. And due to the larger numbers that we're working with, instead of rehearsing in this particular room, um, my rehearsals are going to be upstairs in the the uh, Performing Arts Center, and Dr. Furby's rehearsals are, will be upstairs in what we call the Simonelli Recital Hall. And both of our ensembles will perform in the Performing Arts Center in both of the concerts in March and May. <clears throat> so that's a little nutshell of, of what we do here at Buffalo State vocally. Um, uh, as I said, I'm one of the voice teachers, and uh, we have uh, another uh, voice teacher, Dr. Spann, as well as our um, department chair, uh, Dr. Bulay. We would love to have you come to Buffalo State College and join our music department, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. We are in the Klein Digital Music Studio here at Buffalo State's music department. This um, room houses our digital music ensemble. Uh, our digital music ensemble is a group that um, works with state-of-the-art electronic music instruments with computers and off-the-shelf controllers and basically anything that can output numbers and those numbers that we can massage them so to speak to, to turn them into control uh, information for uh, the control of, them of, of music and sound. Uh, we have quite a bit of gear so the, the ensemble um, is an incredible um, opportunity that um, we give our students to, to get familiar or to become familiar with the electronic music gear and we have um, quite a bit of different instruments that the, the uh, students can work with so um, of course we offer the opportunity for the students to work with digital synthesizers like we have this Roland D synth over here analog synthesizers such as the, the Moog Voyager or the David Smith um, Profit um, that we have over here. Um, in, on my right over here, we have a very strange and very unusual um, new um, hardware controller called the uh, Haken Continuum Fingerboard, um, which is also quite popular with the students in the ensemble. And of course, we have um, percussion controllers such as the Akai MDC 5000 and, and others. Uh, not only we have these controllers that we can see, but um, we also offer students who come from a background of playing woodwind instruments or brass instruments, we offer students the opportunity to play with a, 
with uh, um, <coughs> electronic wind controllers such as the Akai Iwi or the Roland Aerophone or the Morrison Digital Trumpet uh, or the Eigen Harp Pico. Um, if you are a student who focus uh, your studies in, in percussion, we do have a mallet cap over here. We have uh, the Roland um, hand sonic and, and, and other controllers that, that um, the interface to play them um, has to do with, with the triggering pads in, in a fashion that relates to playing percussion instruments. We are at the Buffalo State Music Department's main computer lab in Rockwell 102. This is the lab that um, our music majors uh, <clears throat> where they learn uh, classes in music technology and this is the main facility for the um, students that um, enroll in our program in digital music production. The lab has 14 student workstations and uh, one instructor uh, workstation. All the student workstations uh, are modular and they are all replicas of one another. So basically for each workstation, we have a 21-inch um, iMac uh, that has a ton of software. So we're talking about um, Pro Tools, Ableton Live, um, Logic Pro, uh, Melodyne, and many, many other uh, important um, um, software uh, applications for music. Uh, each workstation has an um, uh, analog synthesizer, a Quark MS-20, and a digital synthesizer, uh, an Nexus Virus. Uh, also, uh, each workstation features an, uh, an audio uh, interface and a MIDI interface and two active speakers. Um, in terms of the controllers that the students use to interact uh, with the computer, with the software, we do have a small hybrid MIDI controller, Innovation Kick, and also a larger uh, 88 key. Uh, controller for those students who are more familiar with keyboard techniques. Uh, the goal uh, of this configuration is to treat the room as a group of 14 workstations that can be seen as um, instruments. So actually a student sitting at this workstation works as if he or she were a musician and they can create music in real time and interact with one another uh, creating music. Interesting to note is the fact that the, the audio and music that students can create here can digitally be sent to the third floor to our Simonelli Recital Hall via a digital audio network. So we are very excited that we can offer this lab to our students. Our students love it. The possibility, possibilities are endless and we are very excited that we can offer this space for our students. Hello everybody and greetings to prospective Buffalo State students. I am Carolyn Gusky of the Music Department. I teach music history and also in the Muriel A. Howard Honors Program. Here we are in Butler Library, which you have seen a magnificent panoramic view of. Uh, the renovation that you are looking at right now is very recent and has provided our students with all of the resources they need to succeed, both in the music department and beyond here at Buffalo State. Right behind me is the new study quad, which is filled with computer terminals, uh, technological equipment such as printers and scanners that you might need, and group study rooms for students who are working on team projects. And right to my left is the staircase to the stacks where the wonderful music collections, both musical scores and books on music, music history, music theory, music literature, are found. I'll be taking you through the circulation process in the next portion. Once you've found your musical materials here at Buffalo State in the stacks, which are very well stocked in the music discipline, you may take them home to use on your own time and on your own schedule through circulation services. At Buffalo State, uh, 
all majors are required to respect the intellectual foundations writing across the curriculum charge. That's done in both our degree programs through the disciplines of music history and ethnomusicology. Those courses are required for both the BA in music and the BME in music education. I'm happy to say that Buffalo State's Buff Butler Library has its own librarian as a liaison to the music department who is here to answer all your music research needs and many other academic commons offices here such as the Writing Center will help students fulfill their intellectual uh, tasks in all the courses that are required for the degree programs. Here in the East Lounge of Butler Library there are many more student computer terminals for your use as well as socializing areas for both undergraduate and graduate students in the student lounge. It is complete, as you can see behind me, with a wonderful refueling and refreshment stop. Finally, I want to tell you about some undergraduate funding opportunities for independent research projects. Buffalo State supports this and encourages research activity through its Office of Undergraduate Research, which offers wonderful student awards such as the Small Grants Award and the Undergraduate Summer Research Fellowship. Both provide project funds for independent student work under the guidance of a faculty mentor. Once we have uh, travel restrictions lifted after the COVID era, we also provide travel award funding for student attendance at disciplinary conferences. This can be a very important step to your musical future as well as graduate school. Thank you for your interest in the Buffalo State Music Department and for joining us on our tour. For more information about auditioning to be a member of our department, please visit the link on your screen.